Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So if you have not watched my last crystal opening, go stop the video and go watch it right now because it's about to get spoiled. All right, but if you've been following my channel, you know who I'm about to rank up. This is my 26th rank five, five star. All right, and we're about to reveal it now. It's going to be Nick Fury. All right, so if you have watched the video, you already knew that. And I got Nick Fury in that opening twice. First time, and then I duped him immediately in the same opening. So you really should watch that. The reaction that I had, you know, was comical, okay? Uh, but it was genuine. It was real, you know? I was happy to get that Nick Fury and when I got him a second time, I, I just couldn't believe it. But very happy, still smiling. All right. And of course, we were going to rank him up. I checked and I looked at my tier four class catalyst. And I'm like, okay, I got everything that I need to take him up to five. And then I looked and was like, oh, I forgot to check the tier threes. Now, the reason that I forgot to check the tier threes will become apparent very soon. I have not run the daily in forever. And you're about to see why. There you go. Look at how many crystals I have. You know, so I popped open uh, and I'm like, I got one. I'm like, really? Then I popped him another one. Now I have five. So I went from not enough to way too much. And a lot of those are going to be in my overflow. They'll probably expire. Uh, but I will try to uh, use them up. I still rank up four stars. They help me in the arena. And so they will get used. Uh, the arena that's coming up right now is um, Deadpool X-Force. Now, he's not a good champion. Uh, we hope that he will get a buff eventually. But right now, I'm probably going to get him. And the reason is mainly because of Nick Fury. He has a synergy with uh, Deadpool X-Force that I would like. Also, Deadpool X-Force has not been available as a five-star before. So I suspect a lot of people are going to be going for him. Uh, I will see what he goes for round one. And then make my decision but i'm probably going to go ahead and go for him which means i definitely wanted to take this guy up before the uh next arena starts which is going to be later today okay so i had to rank him up and if i can i'm gonna rank up some four stars try to use up some of those catalysts those will be more points in the arena for me and it'll just make my grind that much easier. Okay. Uh, we ran out uh, of the uh, alphas there. But you see, I had plenty of alphas. I also have T2 alphas in my overflow. So we're plenty, plenty uh, ready to take him up to rank five. Now, there's only one other skill champion that I want to get. And that's Aegon. So because I used up all of my class catalyst for skill, uh, if I were to pull an Aegon in my next opening, I couldn't take him up right away. But he would be my priority. You know, I would open up T4 class catalyst crystals. I would start using my glory to get those crystals until I had enough skill to take him up uh, to rank five next. But first, we have to get a Nick Fury. All right. Uh, now, you'll see in the video, I'm not being very efficient. Uh, if you watched my battle chip opening, definitely go check it out. 12 million battle chips. I opened up 1,200 uncollected arena crystals. And I do a lot of the four-star Punisher. So I have plenty of of skill ISO and it's going to get used but I have enough gold so I don't really care uh, to be all that efficient but 
for most people, if you don't have that gold, I recommend not using any of the gray ISO. Sell it. Use only the class ISO and that will be the most efficient. All right, so with that, Nick Fury has become rank five, number 26. All right, now, again, as I have said before in other videos like this, this is not a rank, uh, not a deep dive, or as I called them before, a closer look video. So we're not gonna go into detail over Nick Fury. This is just showcasing him. So I showed you his uh, stats here. Not gonna talk about him. We're gonna look at his synergies. Uh, I mentioned the synergy he had. That's that second one right there with Deadpool X-Force. I don't have gold pool. I don't have a four-star Deadpool. I do have a four-star Deadpool X-Force, but having him as a five-star would be great for when I need to use it. And giving me Nick Fury twice, I feel like I have to go for Deadpool X-Force, you know? Now, we're about to see his abilities, and the main thing that I like about Nick Fury is that signature ability. He needs to be awakened. There's no way I would have ranked him up without being awakened. However, I had generic five-star awakening gems. I have like three of them, and I also had a skill awakening gem. So duping him just saved me some uh, gems. I can use them on someone else, all right? So like I said, we're not going to go into that. Uh, we're not going to talk about his abilities at all. But now we're going to go into Realm of Legends. All right. So here's the team that I'm going in here with. So we have Heimdall, which will give him a cheat death, but that's not why I have him in there. You see Angela there as well. Heimdall and Angela have a synergy. If you dash back and hold your block, you're going to get a permanent fury. Okay. Also keep in mind that I'm running suicides. Now, what you're seeing me do here in the beginning uh, is intentional. Uh, if you look at his signature ability, he has the life model decoy that you want to get destroyed to bring out his true damage. Now, in normal situations, you'd fight with him, you know, and it's just like a second life. But where he does all of his big boy damage is when the real Nick Fury comes out. Okay, so you see here, um, I didn't go into the real Nick Fury because of Heimdall. He uh, protected me from dying, okay? So I dashed back, held block, and now I have a permanent Fury up, okay? Now I watched this and I was like, okay, there we go. Now this is the real Nick Fury. So you can compare the damage that you saw earlier with the damage here. I am running suicides, which is not ideal for uh, Nick Fury, but you can work with it, okay? So just look at the big boy damage that he is capable of. Now, for uh, synergies, he makes his teammates much, much better, okay? And we'll go into that when I make a video, and I will be making a video on Nick Fury. But one of the masteries that really works well with Nick Fury is Deep Wounds. Now, I have run half suicides before. And if I were to make a build where I'm gonna be using Nick Fury mostly, I would not run Liquid Courage. I'd leave that one off, I'd run Double Edge, and uh, go in with Nick Fury uh, like that, okay? Uh, that actually works out quite well. Uh, you do take the uh, recoil damage, uh, still for your specials, but you'll have the points to put into deep wounds, which adds quite a bit of damage uh, to Nick Fury, because as you can see, his bleeds are insane. And I'm not playing him the best way to play him. Right now, you see me, you know, I wanted to get that deep uh, wound there uh, active, but this is not how to play Nick Fury to his best. Uh, we will do some more research and we will go into that in a later video but that's going to do it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it click like if you did 
leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.